So I'm joined here by Mr. Fernando from uh, Neoma Business School. He takes care of admissions, recruitment, what else? Well, yeah, that's pretty much. Thank you, thank you for, for this possibility, Niklas. I'm Fernando Chambias. I work for Neoma Business School. I'm the head of recruitment and admissions, international recruitment and admissions right. for the school, for basically undergraduate, postgraduate mm -hmm. programs. Make sure that you watch this video till the end because we're going to be answering some of the unanswered questions on internet floating around with wrong informations. Fernando, I want to start my first question with this whole certification thing. People mm -hmm. people talk different stories about RNCP certification, Grand Call. What, what is all this thing? Okay, uh, I would say that there are three kinds of certification that right. we can get in, in, in France, in private French business schools. The first one would be programs that are recognized by the French government. Right. Those are basically the programme grand école or mastery management, that's right. how we call them. Uh, the second one would be RNCP, that's what you mentioned, that's a certification given by the L French Ministry of Labour. Okay. Okay. That's what it says, is basically that this programme trains you to become something, like for example supply chain trains you for being a specialist in logistics. Right. And the third one would be that label granted by the Conference de Grandes Grand Écoles, which is the body that gathers all the business schools and engineering schools right. in France, right. that sets a um, particular set of uh, standards, mm -hmm. that when those programs meet them, mm -hmm. they get this label. My, my question was in the accordance of my stay back option yeah, because a lot of people have this concern of am I eligible for APS or not? Yeah, yeah. Just in case if my MSc degree yeah. is not uh, RNCP certified, yeah. level one I guess, right? Yeah, level one, exactly. Yeah? Then am I eligible for uh, for APS? You know? Well, the, the, the correct answer to that would be if the MSc is CG label, okay. you will be able to apply for and to obtain the APS. Right. So. Right. The th these three certifications give you the chance to yeah. get the stay back option. That which was France, what I wanted to hear. Which, the, which yeah. France is called the APS. Right, so, yeah. so it's either Grand Core or RNCP or, or CGE. CGE, so always look out for three, these three things. Yeah, it's all one. It's either, oh yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's one of them. It's one of them. Three of them, two of them, that's a matter. The fact that the problem has one yeah. is good enough. That's good enough for you and you're eligible for APS. Yeah. Right. Uh, let's go in. It's a bit cold here uh, <laughs> and, and uh, talk a bit more about Neoma and at the same time the whole point of this video is also to talk about the admissions yeah. uh, process. process. What I want to know is for Neoma Business School, what mm -hmm. are the high interested programs for international students? In our school, in our programs, it's basically for the master's uh, level. Yeah. And in the master's level, we can identify three. One of them is the supply chain management, okay. exactly. Another one would be the luxury management program. Right. And then our like a flagship program, which is mastery management. Mastery management. Yeah. yeah. They are APS friendly, if you want. Oh yeah, that that <laughs> makes sense. Okay. I want you to also walk us through the kind of documents of required. If someone really wants to, you know, watch this video, and just by watching this video, he or she should be able to apply of by themselves. Of course. So can you walk us through the documents required and all? I will be more than happy to okay. walk you through the different documents that you need to provide and also the different steps that you need to go through exactly in a standard admission process. Exactly. Maybe with the timeline, you know, of what course. you should do first, second, yeah. third, fourth, yeah. fifth, yeah? Yeah. Alright, let's walk further now. So as I was saying in English, when you are applying for a master's degree here in France, right. depends on what kind of master, but if we're talking about the MSc, 
for our school or for any others, you'll, you will need to think about seven to eight documents, right. okay? Yeah. So the main thing would be your academic, academic background, which right. we will be represented by your academic transcripts, mm -hmm. plus a degree, a diploma, or enrollment certificate. Right. Then you need to think about an English score, but if you have done your studies in English, you just need a certificate from the school saying that you have done your Medium studies. Medium of instruction. In Medium okay. of instruction, exactly. Okay. Then the, we're talking about the LORs, Letter of Recommendations, a CV, so over there we have four or five. And then many schools, they ask for a letter of motivation. Right. Here in, in Neoma, we have another approach. What we ask is to, for you to answer a few questions mm -hmm. about your motivation, about right. why you chose Neoma mm -hmm. in written. But it's not just, I'll, I chose Neoma because I liked it. Right. It has to be like a more developed, <laughs> more, right? More constructive. Yeah, please. Because otherwise we would say, sorry, you need to go again <laughs> and do it. That's for a master's program and an MSc. But if you are going for the Grand Ecole or the Mastery Management, mm -hmm. you would have to add to that the GMAT. GMAT or GRE score, depending on the, on the school. How yeah. much score? In hours, well, depending on the school, that could go from 500 to 650. What's for Neoma? For Neoma, we are around 550. 550. Yeah. Of course, if it's I better, even better. More is better, yeah? Of course. Cool. So I have all these documents. Mm -hmm. I take all these documments yeah. and I go on your platform. Yeah. And I that's pretty much it. it. Yes. Yeah? yes. And that's all. Well, no, actually, that's the first step. What's so the second? Second step would be to face the professor. Okay. okay. That would be face through Skype, through a digital uh, platform that we have as well. So the idea here is that we, you engage with the person in charge of the program. Right. Okay? Uh -huh. So Better this will be some kind of an exchange where you will be asked questions, you need to answer them orally, mm -hmm. we, and you, we will be evaluating your, your, your aptitude to do that kind of exercise, but right. also we're going to try to know a little bit more about you. So that okay. would be step number two. Two, yeah. And step number three would be the admission decision. Right, that the is results. The, exactly. Okay. That is uh, made by, in our school by a jury. And then that's communicated by email to, to our candidates. Mm -hmm. And then it would be step number four, which would be enrollment. So it's up to them. We give them a certain amount of time mm -hmm to make a decision, right. they need to accept the offer through the application mm -hmm. uh, website and then enroll. Right, right. And this is this is the pretty much story of every school, I guess. Yeah, right? that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much it. Right. And you need to know that in our school, but also in all other schools, at the moment of enrollment, they will be asking or requiring to pay an, a, a down payment, right? A down payment of like 2,000, 2,500 euros yeah, just 200, to secure 500. the seat, I exactly. guess, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you, first of all, for, no, for coming on my channel my and discussing Thank this. You. Thank you for your time. No Thank problem. you, guys. and. Uh, very happy to, 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 to have you here and to help you in your this, in this very important project that is a study abroad. All right then, if you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.